Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So for this second video, what we're gonna be doing today is cleaning out the engine bay of the E36. So it's really important that we do clean it because we gotta find out if it has any leaks, which I know it does, guaranteed. And also, what parts does it need too if it has any cracks or anything like that that's sore, anything wrong with the engine bay, any hoses that are really brittle, any connections that are really shysty, shady looking, anything like that. First thing we're gonna be doing to this gorgeous ass car right here is going to need to remove the battery. <laughs> and why do you ask? Is because whenever you clean the engine bay, you need to remove the negative terminal from your battery or just to remove it just in general so you won't have no current in there. So when you do clean your engine bay, so there's a lot of wires, there's a lot of components that are, you know run electricity through them. So if you wet it with your hose or even get the liquid that you're using to clean the engine bay and it seeks in there, it's gonna be completely just bad. You're either gonna mess up your ECU, you can mess up your brake system, you can blow a couple fuses, but the whole point is that you're gonna be messing up something in your engine bay. Instead of just removing the negative terminal, I decided to take the whole battery out because the battery is dead and we do need it to charge it. So we're gonna to go to AutoZone. We got the battery out and now what's next is to take it to AutoZone. Gotta take this off because I gave it too hard so I detached it. So I gotta go to, I gotta put it back where it came from. I forgot to figure that out later. But for now, I'm gonna take this out of the little advice. Whenever you put a battery in your car, make sure you put some kind of platform under it that you don't care about, just in case it leaks, then it won't be all over your car, stain it or ruin it. Also, during these times, you gotta make sure you have a face mask. Check, got one in the car, but I'm dirty. Just made it to AutoZone. You know what? Fingers crossed that the battery's okay because ain't nobody trying to buy a new battery for a car that they just buy that has extra money on it. Now that I dropped off the battery so we can charge it out of zone, it is time to go to Walmart and get those supplies so we can get that engine bay squeaky clean. We're gonna be getting some brake cleaner, get some engine degreaser, and we're gonna be trying this one too, the Pro Strike degreaser. And I also got myself some white windshield wiper fluid because honestly my car needs it and I've been lagging on it. It's so no sad. It's been like weeks. That's our product for today. We're gonna try these out. Let's see how it works. I mean, Walmart didn't have too much of a variety. But one thing I am missing though, we are missing some microfiber towels. We gotta find those before we go. That's for dang sure. One of the most important things. Also, we gotta get some brushes too. Okay, so this is our lineup that we got from Walmart. We got the brake cleaner right there. We got the engine degreaser and the cleaner. And then we got the pro strength degreaser. And then we got the brush, the heavy duty one. The Well, it was heavy duty enough compared to the, all the other ones that are being sold at Walmart. And that yellow one right there, that one's gonna be for those harder reach areas. I got that one from the house. I couldn't find one over there at Walmart. But I'm pretty sure you can find it somewhere. Normally, I use this one right here. The engine cleaner and degreaser. This one's new to me, so we're gonna try that one out and see how that one works. But if this one just ends up being, you know, as great as always, then we're just gonna stick with that one. So we finally got the windshield fluid from our daily car, cause I'm tired of seeing that maintenance light. So please enjoy this little clip of me finally getting that taken care of for my daily. Okay, so now we're back on track. So this is the before picture of the engine bay. As you can tell, it's completely filthy everywhere. From the plastic, to the metals, to the hoses, to the wires, everything is just filthy with, it's mixed with oil, it's mixed with dirt, it's mixed with a whole bunch of other gunk. So now we're gonna start cleaning it right now. While I was cleaning the engine bay, I noticed that the degree shit was working so well that that was the only thing I ended up using. I also do want to apologize in advance because the camera, it ran out of memory, so it did not record everything that I did to clean the engine bay. But just to sum it down, I was using the degreaser, I was spraying down surfaces, I was scrubbing, I was using both brushes, and it ended up being so good at the end, I was actually really stoked about it. And now I, I can actually see where the leaks are coming from once I start the car. 
I also do want to add this. So the second that you finish cleaning your engine bay, if you guys have a blower, in my case, I had a vacuum that has a blower function in it. So I use this so I can take out as much moisture and water out of the engine bay as possible because you do not want to turn the car on and it still has water and a lot of parts that have current going through them, then you blow something up. So I do advise if you guys don't have one, just let your engine sit with the hood open and just let it dry. So now that we have finished cleaning the whole entire surface, those parts were easily accessible in those areas as well. So now we got to clean those areas and components that are hidden and also are between tight spaces. And what I mean by that is, for example, the steering wheel reservoir is actually underneath the intake manifold. And to easily clean that, we'll have to take the intake box out and the intake manifold to clean all that area and to see if there's any leaks which I know for sure there are because I already seen the reservoir and it does have a leak. There's a bunch of oil everywhere. So in order to do that, we'll have to take some parts off and we'll have to do that to all those other areas that are really tough to reach. We'll have to find a way to get to those areas and clean them so we can remove and replace anything that needs to be replaced or even have to like fix at all. So I will be having another video session on this. So there's gonna be a part two for this video and it will be coming soon in the future. And they said it's good. Yeah.